Could y'all do me a favor and please tag every single barber that you know right now? Because barbers need the Nobel Priest Prize right now. I walked into my barber shop today. If y'all been following me, y'all know my beard be kind of patchy some days like back here. Up here is full, back here is bull. Up here is all business, back here is like somebody had a party and went to work on my beard. Right, let me tell you what happened. So I walked into the barber shop today as Josh, and I was sad, and I just wasn't feeling it myself. My Jamaican barber named Gary and Headliners Barber in Naples, Florida, he said, lay back, I'm going to take care of your beard. And I said, what you going to do? He said, I'm going to take you to China. I said, what you mean take me to China? Say, I'm going to take you to Beijing. Bro, when I woke up and opened my eyes, I went from Josh to Joshua. Joshua. I walked in that barber shop a minute, man. I came out a minute, man. But it's going to be the best, most passionate minute of your life. Barbers can stop the violence with the haircuts they give. Look at my face, man. Look at my beard, man. You could put me on a Duke box. You could put me on a cereal box. You could put me on a box of condoms. You could put me on a box of boxes. And it's going to sell right now. My attitude today was to fight anybody that said anything negative to me. Why, Josh? Not because I was feeling down. Not because I'm broke. Because my haircut went on fire. That man stopped the violence with this haircut. Barbers. We got to protect barbers at all costs. Why we got to protect barbers at all costs? Because they be the reason that we be feeling like gods. I finally understand how women feel when they get their eyebrows done. When their eyebrows be thin and they don't be thick as they want to, and they go to an eyebrow specialist and they color in their eyebrows and whatnot. Look at my beard, y'all. Hell cut looks so good. Make me want to go pay some bills on time, dog. I'm definitely paying my rent on time this month. I'm definitely playing Xfinity on time this month. No problem. The car payment, mail it in. I might put my water bill on automatic deduction. It's absolutely amazing how a beard can make your lips look full, your eyes look curvy, your eyebrows look cuter, your face look stronger. Can he Beijing my barbers? Can y'all Beijing my stomach? Can y'all Beijing my lower chin? Can y'all Beijing my elbows? Can y'all Beijing just to make it look a little bit more full? To all barbers, this poem is dedicated to y'all. I woke up groggy, feeling sad. Drove to the barbershop, feeling mad. My barber told me, Josh, I'm going to take care of you. I laid back down feeling sick as Theraflu. But then I woke up and I felt alive. My beard looked full. I felt like I could thrive. I felt like I could drink. I felt like I could drive. I shouldn't drink and drive because I get a ticket. But if the cops see my beard, he ain't going to give me a ticket. All he's going to do is give me a warning to tell me to click it. Barbara Shop Lives Matter! To every single barber that ever felt like y'all weren't making a difference, y'all weren't changing the life, Josh Prey is back. I just feel way too attractive. I don't think I can walk up and kiss somebody's mama red in the mouth and the son or the daddy or the father or the cousin or the sister or the grandpa or whoever wouldn't say nothing. God dang, the barber made me feel. Look at this, man. You're the only one for me. I need you so. I can't let go. I'm going to be all that I can't be. I want you still. I always will. Cause you're the 